Hello, welcome to this presentation about my paper, Enhancing Diversity in Teacher Student Networks via Asymmetric Branches for Unsupervised Person Reeducation. Before I start my speech, let me introduce myself. My name is Hao Chen. I'm currently a PhD student at INRIA and the University of Gotteju, France. Okay, let's start. I will first talk about what is person reeducation. Person reeducation can be regarded as an image retrieval problem whose objective is to measure person of interest across known overlapping cameras. A successful person ID relies on building discriminative fingerprint representations, which allows us to compute similarity between uh, curie and uh, gallery images. It can be applied to found missing children and seniors in the real world. Annotating cross-camera identity label is a cumbersome task. Unsupervised reality needs less human supervision and has a better scalability in real-world deployment. There are three main approaches, semantic attribute, game-based style transfer, and pseudo-label, for example with clustering. Our baseline is Mean Teacher and the Mutual Mean Teaching MMT for unsupervised reality, where two teachers supervise two students of uh, different initialization in a cross model manner. Such design makes two networks explore different features from the same input. However, as different initialization only affect the beginning box, weights of the two networks will become more and more similar during the training. We call it the coupling problem of MMT. To prevent two peer networks from converging to each other during the training, we propose to use an asymmetric branches inside neural networks. As you can see, we use two branches of different depths and pooling method as the last convolution layer of ResNet 50. Moreover, we use a cross branch supervision which means one student branch is always supervised by a teacher branch with a different structure. Following our baseline MMT, we use both clustering-generated pseudo-labels as well as representation and the prediction of a teacher network as soft pseudo-labels. We use clustering-generated label in cross-entropy loss. Next, we use teacher prediction as a soft label in soft cross entropy loss and the teacher representation as a soft label in soft triplet loss. To validate the effectiveness of our proposed method facing coupling problem, we propose to measure teacher pairs and the teacher student representation distance. Thanks to different initialization, MMT maintains a large distance at the beginning epoch, but it decreases as the training goes on. Our proposed asymmetric branches works as a feature diversity encouragement that always keeps a large distance. We compared our method on the four commonly used unsupervised domain adaptation ready evaluation protocols. We also tested two different backbone networks, ResNet 50 and IBM ResNet 50. Our method outperforms previous methods in all these protocols. We have more results in our paper. In our ablation study, we compared two different clustering methods and validated the effectiveness of our proposed asymmetric branches and cross-branch supervision in the first table. We compared asymmetric branches structure in the second table. We validated the effectiveness of each loss function in the third table. We visualized top five retrieval images from MMT and our method. We can see MMT is prone to file when there exists occlusion, the first and the third rows, similar poses, second row, and the similar background, bottom row. Our method is generally more robust to this variation. Thanks for your attention. If you are interested in our research, please find more details in our paper. You will be able to find my implementation code through this link. And if you have any question about my paper, do not hesitate to send me a message. Bye.